marching to work, on the phone, making a call. Often we just pass through stations totally oblivious to their past. That was more difficult today at St Pancras with a Victorian horse and cart parked outside, which would have transported the product that basically inspired the building of the station. At that time, goods and trade were much more important than passenger traffic. And um, a key part of that sort of goods business was beer from Burton, from the Midlands. So the ground level of the station, so now you can go down and walk through it, that was solely for the storage of beer from Burton. It revolutionised beer drinking in the capital, bringing bitter for the first time to London pubs, more familiar with a good glass of stout. But it wasn't the only thing that was revolutionary about this station. This roof was really a wonder of the time, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. When the station opened, this was the largest single-span roof in the world. It's 700 foot long, 250 foot wide and 100 foot high. Perhaps if you've seen an old film from the 30s or 40s, the Grand Central Station in New York, you might have seen this. Yeah, you could quite like these two because the original Grand Central used the design of St Pancras. You look around here, it's completely splendid St Pancras station, but back in the 60s it was seen by some as redundant. And there were growing calls at the time for this place to be demolished. And if it wasn't for this man, Sir John Betjeman, one time poet laureate who mounted a successful campaign to stop it, perhaps this place wouldn't be here right now. Now, of course, it's not just an international terminal, but a place to shop and be spontaneously entertained. The piano has been so incredibly successful, hasn't it? They have. It's captured people's imagination. It really has. And we introduced them in 2012, and they have been so popular. People absolutely love to see people play, to hear people play. Even the likes of Elton John have been seen tinkling on the St Pancras Ivories. And to celebrate all of this, a special anniversary beer. Maybe not in wooden barrels, but you can't always have everything. Jim Weeble, BBC London News.